yes children good evening first i finished three chapters matrices quadratic equation and construction all of you revise the chapters and all of you finish the exercise now i am going to teach the remainder and factor theorem the remainder theorem this is the statement if f of x is a polynomial and x is divided by x minus a then the remainder is f of a what is the remainder theorem f of x is a polynomial in x it is divided by x minus a then the remainder is f of a now f of x let the f of x is equal to x squared minus 8x plus 4 it is a polynomial it is divided by x minus 1 you know the direct division x squared minus 8x plus 4 divided by x minus 1 x into x so you are taking x first x squared Minus x, you are getting minus seven x. Then by minus seven, you are multiplying. You are getting the remainder minus three. This is the long division method. You know this method. Now according to the remainder theorem, first you have to take x minus one divided by which one? X minus one equate to zero. X is equal to one. Now the given polynomial is f of x is equal to x squared minus eight x plus four. In the place of x, you are going to substitute one. F of one is equal to one squared minus eight into one plus four. One minus eight plus four. The remainder is minus three. This is by long division, and this is by using remainder theorem. Now one more example. F of x is equal to x cube plus three x squared minus twelve x plus four. It is divided by x minus two by using remainder theorem. Find the remainder. Then what to do first? X minus two is equal to zero. X is equal to two. In the place of x, you are going to substitute two. So f of two is equal to two cube plus three into two squared minus twelve into two plus four. Eight plus twelve minus twenty four plus four. The remainder is zero. So here the remainder is zero. In the previous question, the remainder is minus three. Next one is factor theorem. The same remainder theorem. You are proceeding further. When a polynomial f of x is divided by x minus a, the remainder is f of a. Up to this, it is the remainder theorem. Now, if the remainder is zero, that is f of a is equal to zero. Now you can say x minus a is the factor of the polynomial f of x. Now, for example, f of x is equal to x squared minus five x plus six. It is divided by x minus three. Then x minus three is equal to zero. X is equal to three. You are going to find what is f of three. Three squared minus five into three plus six. You are getting the remainder zero. If the remainder is zero, according to the factors theorem, if the remainder is zero, then x minus a is a factor. So x minus three is the factor of x squared minus five x plus six. Now, few more example, different type of questions. I am going to discuss now. Now find the value of a if f of x a x cube plus nine x squared plus four x minus ten divided by x plus three leaves a remainder five. Now the remainder is given five, and you know the polynomial in this one unknown a is there, and it is divided by x plus three. First you are taking x plus three is equal to zero, x is equal to minus three. Now the remainder is f of minus three. So the given polynomial is. This polynomial in the place of x, you are going to substitute minus three. A into minus three whole cube plus nine into minus three whole square plus four into minus three minus ten is equal to five. This is given. Now you are getting by solving. This is the only linear equation. You can easily solve it. You are getting a is equal to two. This kind of different questions I am going to discuss in this chapter. Next example. X minus two is a factor of x squared minus seven x plus two. You find the value of a. What is given? X minus two is a factor. If it is a factor, what is the remainder? The remainder is zero. In the only in factors theorem, the remainder is zero. And if the, if the remainder is given in the place of remainder, you have to substitute that number. If it is a factor given in the place of the remainder, you are going to substitute zero. 
Now f of 2 is equal to, because x minus 2 is equal to 0, x is equal to 2, f of 2 is equal to 0. In the place of x, you are substituting 2 now, 2 squared minus 7 into 2 plus 2a is equal to 0, 4 minus 14 plus 2a is equal to 0, 2a is equal to 14 minus 4, 2a is equal to 10, a is equal to 5. Now I am going to the exercise, a exercise, question number 1, third part I am going to discuss now x to the power of 4 plus 1 divided by x plus 1. Find the remainder by using remainder theorem. Then x plus 1 is equal to 0, x is equal to minus 1. In the place of x, you are going to substitute minus 1. Minus 1 whole to the power of 4 plus 1. The degree, the power is 4, even number. Therefore, minus 1 into minus 1 into minus 1 into minus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Therefore, the remainder is 2. Question number 2. Show that x minus 2 is a factor of this polynomial. You have to show if it is a factor, what will be the remainder? 0. So, just you substitute x minus 2 is equal to 0, x is equal to 2 in the polynomial. You should get the remainder 0. Now, see here f of 2 is equal to 5 into 2 squared plus 15 into 2 minus 50. The remainder is 0. Therefore, x minus 2 is a factor. Okay. One more example now. 11a. Next question number 11. f of x is equal to x cube plus ax squared plus bx plus 6. Here there is two variables. There are two variables. In previous question only one variable. Here a comma b. There are two variables. Has x minus 2 is a factor. Another one. And leaves the remainder 3 when divided by x minus 3. Find the value of a and b. What is the meaning of the question? If you are dividing by x minus 2, here x minus 2 is a factor. Therefore, the remainder should be 0. And if it is divided by x minus 3, it leaves the remainder 3. Therefore, f of 3 is equal to 3. So, 2 times it will come. x minus 2 is a factor. Therefore, f of 2 is equal to 0. x minus 2 is equal to 0. x is equal to 2. In the place of x, you are going to substitute 2. 2 q a into 2 squared plus b into 2 plus b is equal to 6 is equal to 0. You are getting the first equation 4a plus 2b is equal to minus 14. According to the second condition, x minus 3 is equal to 0, x is equal to 3. Therefore, f of 3 and but it is leaving the remainder 3. Therefore, f of 3 is equal to 3. You are substituting in the place of x3. So, 3 cube plus a into 3 squared plus b into 3 plus 6 is equal to 3. By solving, you are getting 9a plus 3b is equal to minus 30. This is second equation. There are two equation, simultaneous linear equation in two variables you are getting. So, from 1 and 2, you are getting by dividing. First equation, you can divide by 2. So, you are getting 2a plus b is equal to minus 7. Second equation, you can divide by 3. You are getting 3a plus b is equal to minus 10. By solving any method, use this method, you are getting minus a is equal to 3, a is equal to minus 3. Substitute the value of a here, you are getting minus a plus b is equal to minus 10, b is equal to minus 1. Now children, all you know, factors theorem means the remainder by using factors theorem or x minus a is a factor, the remainder should be 0. Otherwise, what is the remainder given that you have to equate? Let's come to the one more question. What should be, this is their different question. What should be added to 3x cube minus 5x squared plus 6x so that the resulting polynomial is divided by x minus 3. The remainder is 8. Now one more number should come here. We don't know that number. We are going to find out what should be added with the polynomial. Therefore, the remainder is 8 when divided by x minus 3. The method is same only. f of s let the number added you can take it as k. So, f of x become 3x cube minus 5x squared plus 6x plus k. As usual, x minus 3 is equal to 0, x is equal to 3. The remainder is 8 given. So, f of 3 is equal to 8. Remainder given means you have to equate with the remainder. So, in this place, you are substituting in the place of minus 46. Therefore, you have to write minus 46 should be added to f of x. Next one more example, the polynomial. 2x cube minus 7x squared plus ax minus 6. Another polynomial, x cube minus 8x squared plus 2a plus 1 into x minus 60. Leaves the same remainder when divided by x minus 2. Find the value of a. What is this? There are two polynomials given. If it is divided by x minus 2, both the polynomial leave the same remainder. 
here one unknown a is there we are going to find out now we can give the name f of x is equal to first polynomial g of x is the second polynomial it leave the same reminder therefore f of 2 is the reminder even g of 2 the same reminder right hand side are equal you can equate the left hand side therefore f of 2 is equal to g of 2 substituting in this equation you are getting 2 into 2 cube minus 7 into 2 square plus 9 into 2 minus 6 the another yeah, g of x you are substituting in the same way you are getting 2 cube minus 8 into 2 square plus 2a plus 1 into 2 minus 16 now you bring all the unknown a you bring to your left hand side all the numbers to your right hand side solve it you are getting a is equal to 10 now you can solve your exercise sums easily and next one more type of question is there now see using the factor theorem factorize the given polynomial here you don't know the factor the degree of the equation will be 3 you have to solve it or you have to factorize it now you have to learn the long all you know about the long division one more time just i am explaining the long division 2x cube plus x squared minus 2x minus 1 divided by x minus 1. Here 2x cube. Here x. So 2x cube by x you are dividing 2x squared. First one you are taking 2x squared by this 2x squared. Multiply both. 2x cube minus 2x squared. Now subtracting. Change the sign. You are getting 3x squared and take this one minus 2x. Here plus sign. So you take plus 3x squared by x. 3x by, by 3x multiply both. You are getting 3x squared minus 3x. The remainder is x. Take the minus 1. x minus 1 here positive. So you take positive. x by x is 1. By this 1 multiply both. You are getting the remainder 0. So now learn the long division. It is important for the next one. Yes. Now example. Using the remainder theorem. Factorize completely. First step. First step using remainder or factor example using factor theorem factorize completely 2x cube plus x squared minus 2x minus 1 the degree of the equation is 3 you don't know what is the factor first you have to this is the trial and error method you are going to try for x is equal to 1 now f of 1 you are finding that is in the place of x 1 you are substituting the remainder is 0 if the remainder is 0 now you can say x minus 1 is a factor of the polynomial. Suppose you are not getting the remainder 0. You have to try for minus 1, plus 2, minus 2, etc. Now second step. Now you know x minus 1 is the one of the factor of the polynomial. You are going to find the other factors. Second step by long division. Divide the given polynomial 2x cubed plus x squared minus 2x minus 1 by x minus 1. Now, already I taught you how to find, how to divide. Divide it, the remainder you are getting 0 and this is the equation. Now, you are going to factorize the equation. Now, what will happen? f of x is equal to x minus 1 into 2x squared plus 3x plus 1. Now, again, it is the quadratic polynomial degree 2. So, you are to splitting the method. You can use it. You, are, you have to factorize this. 2x squared plus 2x plus x plus 1. Here 2x is common, x plus 1. Here 1 is common, x plus 1. So x minus 1, x plus 1 and 2x plus 1. In the product form you have to write. Because in this question what is factorized given? Therefore 2x cubed plus x squared minus 2x minus 1 is equal to x minus 1 into x plus 1 into 2x plus 1. Then one more example. Factorize f of x. 2x cube minus 7x squared minus 3x plus 18. Hence, find the value of x for f of x is equal to 0. Previous question, only factorize. Just you have to factorize and you have to stop it. You are going to solve if f of x is equal to 0. Solving means you are going to find the value of x. Now, first you are step 1 for x is equal to 1. f of x, you are substituting this in this f of x in the place of x 1. But you are not getting the remainder is 10. So, this one is not a factor. Again, you are trying for x is equal to minus hmm. 1. Again, you are trying for x is equal to minus 1. Now, the remainder is 12. It is not equal to 0. Therefore, x plus 1 is not a factor. 
Now you are trying for x is equal to 2. The remainder is 0. Therefore, x minus 2 is a factor. Then next step, long division. You are dividing the f of x by x minus 2. The quotient you are getting 2x squared minus 3x minus 9. Now, x minus 2, 2x squared minus 3x minus 9. You know how to factorize. The same procedure, splitting method. You are 3 into 2x plus 3. This is for if f of x is equal to 0, find the value of x. In the same question, next part. Now you know f of x is equal to x minus 2 into x minus 3 into 2x plus 3 is equal to 0. So now it is 0 means maybe x minus 2 is 0 or x minus 3 is equal to 0 or 2x plus 3 is equal to 0. Then only the full fact is equal to 0. Therefore x minus 2 is equal to 0, x is equal to 2. Or x minus 3 is equal to 0, x is equal to 3. Or 2x plus 3 is equal to 0, x is equal to minus 3 by 2. Whenever in the question, if it is like that, only you have to find out. Otherwise, factorize. Now, you can solve all the A, B, C exercises.